Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of BCTV. I'm your host, Kyle Ellicott. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the industry's favorite subjects, NFTs or non-fungible tokens. We have talked a little bit about this earlier this morning on Blockchain and Crypto Today. As I went through some of the big updates, we have Justin Sun, who just purchased a Picasso and an Andy Warhol piece, uh, one for uh, 20 and the other for $2 million, respectfully, to tokenize those through his Justin or excuse me, Just NFT Fund. Uh, we also have The weekend launching a new uh, NFT with some exclusive content. And we also have Pokemon who got in the game. Teletubbies have gotten in the game. We've got NBA Top Shot. We've got CryptoPunks. We've got F1 Delta Time. We've got everybody. Uh, we even have some athletes that are moving NFTs to the back to the physical world through t tattoos into then back the digital world as well. We also have Snoop Dogg who has announced uh, some exclusive content through NFT sales that he will be doing. We have much, much more to talk about as we also look at the next piece, which is the marketplace, the transaction, and what else can be a, not an NFT aside from art, for instance, whether that be tokenized essays through someone like Mir or some of the other content we've seen as well. Again, the idea of tokenization through what was once physical to now digital. And I'm joined by an outstanding guest today. Evan, welcome to the show. A little introduction and background for everybody, please. Hello, guys. Pleasure to connect. Uh, I am Evan Luthra. I'm an angel investor and parallel entrepreneur. I build and ex invest in fast-growing technology companies. Uh, my main uh, focus is Startup Studio Incubator Fund. We work with non-tech entrepreneurs who have great ideas, but they lack the technical skill set to execute so we work with them to build companies with them from the ground up. Uh, that's what we've been doing for about seven years. The combined market cap of the companies that we have built and invested in is over $10 billion. We have te uh, dozens of millions of users across various countries. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's what most of my time is. Uh, I've been pretty early into crypto. Uh, bought my first Bitcoin in 2014. Uh, got heavily involved in the space in 2017 in the last bull run when I started uh, a crypto investment bank, Ioko. And with Ioko, what we do is we, um, we work with uh, companies to take, comp uh, to take them to the public on the crypto markets. We were involved early on. I was one of the first equity investors in a company like Hashgraph uh, when it was worth 10 million. So we're multiple billions today. Uh, we took multiple other projects to market. I'm an equity investor in companies like Ripple, Hi, and a few more. Um, and right now, I, I'm, I mostly just do whatever I'm interested in, uh, put my money in, deploy my capital. I mean, most of my time today goes into uh, helping out uh, upcoming projects and investing my capital and help more than money. I mean, I have a lot of free time and resources. I write for Forbes, I write for Cointelegraph, I write for a bunch of other publications. I've had six TV shows on my life, if anybody's interested to watch. Uh, and yeah, and that's, that's a, there's a lot more. There's a lot more. I have a vodka company. Uh, this is my own vodka. Bought a oh, piece wow. of the moon. And the texture of the bottle is actually based on that piece of the moon. So when you hold the bottle, you're holding a piece of the moon. And you know, in the crypto space, it's all about going to the moon. Yeah, so that's the idea. But yeah, I mean, I have a lot of different companies I'm invested in. And NFTs has been something I'm very, very excited about. And we're in process right now of helping a few artists who I know from a long time uh, get into the NFT game and help them mint tokens. But yeah, happy to talk about and see how we can add value today to the people listening in. This is great. So before we jump into maybe NFTs, why don't we take a step back as to what you're just seeing in the blockchain space as a whole? I mean, you've been working with crypto companies, you've been working in this space, as you said, for, for quite some time, investing in some of the early layer ones and other projects alike. What are you seeing happening? I mean, coming forward 2021, I mean, we've been now what, uh, what five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine years um, plus uh, and growing now and that since the white paper first originally released in 2009, here we are in 2021. Uh, you know, whole different world. We saw the explosion in 2017. We saw what happened in 2018. 2019 was all about infrastructure. 2020, we saw just this explosion of the digital economy. Here we are, 2021. More has happened in 90 days than happened all of last year. What, what from your view, has, uh, has this industry I really shaped up to be? It's the best time to be involved in the blockchain and crypto space because you're literally getting hundreds, 100 X's return over investments in no time right now. I mean, no joke, I just invested in this IDO uh, two days ago on 29th of March. Uh, it's a split uh, that just ShopX is the coin that just dropped uh, yesterday. And I went up 137% uh, X 
that's 13,000 percent return in two days of investment. So I mean, yeah. it, this this space is crazy, you know. I mean, this is the best time to make money. This is the best time to be alive to make money right now. This is what is happening uh, in the in the crypto space. So like. Uh, that's 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 the exciting part, right? I mean, and it's there's so much, there's so many smart people right now who are working and building companies in this space. It's very very exciting to be involved in here right now, right? I mean, and I got into uh, NFTs by itself is not something new. It's been out there for a while. The most trending coin on Coin Market Cap last week was Omi Ecomi. That's the name of the project. Um, that's the fourth most downloaded app in the entertainment category, next to Twitch and Disney Plus. Uh, right now, it's to buy and collect rare NFTs. So, right, I mean, and I invested in them in 2017, and today that one itself is over 100x. Right, so I think right now is the best time to get into project because this this all this bull run that we're getting into. I think the off season hasn't even started yet, and we're only getting into it April. There's tons and tons of ideas lined up. So one advice I can give to anybody who's in here for to make a good return over investment, if you're an investor, try to get, get some allocation into these ideas because they will go off. They will go off. It's so hard with myself as somebody like who actually can provide so much value, can write about projects and publications, uh, pro and, and, I can, I can, and I can add value, give them expertise. I have a million followers, I get the free promotion. Even me, I have to struggle and fight to, to be able to invest in some of these ideas. So it's definitely a mission. I was I was only able to get into four right now. So Split was one that gave me thirteen thousand percent. I did Deeper Dot Network. I did Gains, uh, and I'm doing Rocket Vault right now, and maybe some more. So I mean, there's there's so much opportunity. Like, and you know, I'm 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 somebody who invests in so many sectors. You know, I've invested in a hundred startups or a hundred startups in equity before I even got investing into crypto so much, right? Mm -hmm. So and I I still do this, and I invest in all kinds of sectors, right? But there is nothing that matches the space of DeFi right now when it comes to uh, really growing your capital because the opportunities are you're, you're getting returns in the hundreds of percents, right? I mean, the hundreds of percents is, is, is what you expect easily, easily, if not the thousands. And if not, you get like in the tens of thousands, you hit a home run. So, I mean, that, that's, what, that's what I would say about the space. This is the best time to be in the space. I, I would tell everybody, like people, I have a lot of people who follow me on Instagram. They all keep texting me, well, what do I do? What do I am jobless? I'm like, the best advice I can give anybody right now is to get involved in DeFi because DeFi is going to change the way how our current financial systems run. And finance extends its hands into every industry. So eventually it's going to have, uh, like it's going to see so many changes in all industries and technology is inevitable. Like better technology is inevitable. If you don't adapt, you will get lost, left, lost out. That's what's going to happen. Right. Technology is taking over. I mean, most people fail to realize that technology grows exponentially. Unlike mm -hmm. most industries, which grows linearly, uh, technology grows exponentially. So once it reaches J curve, it just pops up. That's what we're seeing with NFTs right now. Weave, which is Omi's coin, Omi's app, Omi is, the, is like went from top 3,000 to top 50 coin market cap in like less than last one month. Right, it's it's gone up twenty eight thousand percent in a year. It's been there for three years. I invested three years ago. It didn't move, but now that app is number fourth most downloaded app. Right, it's got tens of thousands of users and who are buying all these NFTs every day. NFTs is not new. It just came and look how how fast it is eating everybody up. Everybody from Logan mm -hmm. Paul to Amanda Cerny, all these guys who don't even understand crypto, they're all talking about Omi and NFTs. Like, so that's what it tells you. Well, like, so so Evan, real quick, real quick. So Real quick, absolutely. And real quick for our viewers, DeFi, decentralized finance, just as a reminder, NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Uh, but you're cutting Evan, out for a second, Kyle. I'm not sure why. It's okay. I think we might yeah. have a slight delay. So Evan, why now has NFTs all of a sudden become so mainstream? I mean, NFTs, you're right, are not new. Uh, we've seen various use cases. We saw CryptoKitties as it came out uh, by Dapper Labs on Ethereum. Back in 2017, we saw how that worked and didn't work. Then all of a sudden, we kind of had a very quiet, uh, you know, world around non fungible tokens. And all of a sudden, NFTs is now this like consumer focused thing that everyone in the world is obsessed with when it comes to a new technology. As you mentioned, I mean, we're doing almost $800 million in transactions in the first three months when last year we only did 250 for the entire year. There's something here. This is not just an explosion. So why now? Why has this all of a sudden become this on ramp uh, in an industry? I don't know, Kyle. You're cutting out every couple of seconds. It's a little bit hard to understand you. 
my my apologies there, Evan. I, I'm not sure if it's my connection. Can you hear me okay? Uh, Evan, we, we have you frozen. So it looks like uh, there may be a connection issue uh, here and just for, for the moment. So apologies, everyone. Um, as Evan was mentioning, NFTs, decentralized finance, these are all great industries to start looking at and building in. There's a ton of great opportunities out there if you're looking to get started. We spoke yesterday on VCTV on the opportunities around low code and no code. Uh, these are easy solutions to really connect the dots. There's also a ton of developer platforms, as I like to categorize them in, that have a suite of products where you can walk in uh, to these app to these uh, platforms and actually begin building your decentralized application and working to building in and in the NFT space. You know, Evan was mentioning he's working with a lot of artists uh, and individuals around the world to build NFTs and to bring tokenized content uh, to the masses. So tons of great opportunities out there for those that are looking. Evan, uh, you dropped off for just a moment, but just to welcome you back, I was curious why NFTs now? Specifically over the last four months, we've seen close to now almost a billion dollars. If we look four or five months out versus just the first three here, um, why is this all of a sudden a, a hot thing now? I mean, so it's it's a lot of factors coming in together, right? That's what I understand. Like, I, so I saw this opportunity about NFTs many, many years ago. I knew this was going to happen many years ago anyways. And that's why I invested in the company Ecomi uh, three years ago. And that's why I'm able to have this return today to get into that company early. Um, but today I'm investing in all kinds of NFT marketplaces. I'm in Flow, I'm in Drawable, I'm in uh, all these other uh, tokens that are coming out that are all NFT marketplaces that have a token. OpenSea doesn't have one, Nifty Gateway doesn't have one. So, I mean, the idea is like, so you got to understand all this infrastructure took time to build up. Nifty Gateway, Open, uh, Rarible, uh, for Omi to have the, Omi has been working hard for three years. I was at the seed investors. So I'm in the, in the group, seeing them putting in the effort and updating us all every other week that this, this is a license to the God. This, this. So Omi's app still is not built to scale. I have 200 engineers working with building apps full time and I make apps for a living otherwise. Uh, and Omi's app is still really, really low quality. So you gotta understand the infrastructure is only just getting there right now. But so fun, we need the infrastructure to be there to be en enable something like NFTs to happen. They are basically digital collectibles to make a digital version of each collectible is gonna take time. Licenses with the companies, they're still happening in process, right? You're seeing every other day, these new announcements are made, all these new people getting onto the NFT space because the infrastructure is also there. The second thing is we live in a world which is dominated by social media, right? So all these, all these guys from Gary Wee talking nonstop about NFTs, all these guys with tens of millions of followers who have this audience, they're, they're just realizing, hey, there's this amazing opportunity that I can build something that's digital I can build it one time and I can get, release it to all my followers and they will pay a lot of money for it. And it's digital. So, I mean, so their followers live on this digital world. Like they never meet these people in person ever. They just, there's a digital connection, right? So that's why it's, it's, it's growing even more and more. And you see like a lot of people will pay a lot of money for a blue tick on Instagram, right? It's like, that's, that's the whole idea. What is it? It's just a blue tick. Why is it worth so much money? Why are people offering tens of thousands of dollars to get verified on Instagram? It's because they want that digital status. And that's the whole idea behind NFTs. And what happened in 2020 was everybody was staying home for many months. Mm -hmm. So they basically lost touch with the real world and started spending all their time on the phone. A lot of the people I know, the screen times went up to 12 hours a day because they were at home all day just staring at a screen, right? So when you were in lockdown for many months, this is what most people would do. So COVID basically pushed people to be even more virtual. And, and I think we're, we're reaching a point. So the future of NFTs is going to be like everybody having a VR headset and then they have the NFT toys, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the idea. So, I mean, if you try the new Oculus VR, Oculus 2 from Oculus Quest 2 from uh, Facebook, I mean, that one is an amazing device. It's really immersive VR. So think about what happens with NFTs that you collect and you buy and you're suddenly wearing this headset. I'm sitting next to you in, in the room and we are on a beach in, in Miami, right? And we have our NFT toys that we should play around with. So it's, 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 this, this is what happens with technology. Like I said, technology grows on an exponential, it grows on a J curve. It grows exponentially, not linearly, right? So we have this curve and the T started there for the last few years and now it's reached this curve and it's going like this. So 
that that's the main idea that's the main idea behind nft is just starting out right now and it's only going to grow bigger and bigger because the technology is eating over the world the more time people spend on their phones the more time people spend on screens the more nfts will grow mm-hmm. why do you want to collect uh art that's 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 not animated anymore we're all over the digital world right and so that's that's the idea and i mean all these crazy prices we have some of this stuff is also it's just a, it's just a replica of the art market right why is one painting what's tens of millions of dollars and the other one is not because the value is in the eye of the beholder the person who buys the art decides the value that's why a lot of people can't digest the people painting selling for tens of millions of dollars right a lot of people can't digest that fact but mm-hmm. the person who bought it he decides the value himself he saw 5000 days of effort people putting in every day to right. some people that's impressive so there you go so, so Evan, as we we look forward, I mean, more people are spending more time on screens. The infrastructure is getting there. More licenses are are coming online. What's next? I mean, if I'm looking at this industry as an investor and not in the individual tokens, but I'm looking at uh, making investments throughout NFTs. Where do you suggest people put their bets? Is it in marketplaces? Is it in the infrastructure? Is it in the security and the identity? Where where do you see the next big wave of investment opportunities? For those that are looking to start investing and or building around that infrastructure again not the individual pieces themselves but uh in terms of nft uh ecosystem so what i always tell people is that when you have an opportunity uh, when there's a gold rush start selling the shovels right because everybody makes money if you become the marketplace so i for one have held investments in all the nft marketplaces so from omi being one of them uh, Rarible being the other one, uh, Flow by Day Per Labs that's got the NBA Top Shot contract being another one, and all of them have displayed me tremendous returns. I mean, uh, all of them have been growing, and they're only going to grow more and more. So that's 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 an opportunity for people I would tell who's interested in NFT space. Investing in the art pieces that by themselves is is a little bit more uh, complicated because you want to understand, you need to know how the art industry works to be able to mm-hmm. capitalize on that opportunity. But that's what I will tell people. And um, then also, I mean, you have other opportunities too to invest in, like, I mean, even outside of the NFT space, like if you're looking at asset classes or where to put your money in, I mean, DeFi is, is one industry that is only going to keep growing and growing, right? DeFi is putting, I mean, DeFi makes banks look like a joke, to be honest. DeFi makes, I mean, what, you get like 2%, 5% in Indian banks, you still manage to get 5% a year return on your invest, uh, on your on your deposits. I think American mm-hmm. Express claims, high. I'm a great, I'm, I love American Express, he's been for a long time. I'm a long customer. Um, I mean, American Express gives uh, 0.5% as high yield, right? I mean, and, mm-hmm. and you could keep US dollars, USDT, USDC pool in, in on all these uh, DeFi protocols and you could make 15% a year, right? So that's mm-hmm. just a very, very basic comparison of how getting into DeFi, you have a huge opportunity. But regardless of that, I mean, there's, there's just tremendous opportunities, so many cool things that you can get involved in in the DeFi space. So when it comes to DeFi and, and NFTs, again, decentralized finance, non-fungible tokens, what, what do you see that shifting into around the enterprise? I mean, right now, a lot of this is all focused around consumer, uh, us as individuals. But what about the enterprise? Is there use cases where non-fungible tokens may work within enterprise and corporations? Uh, whether it be digital twins or something of the like. And then what about uh, decentralized finance when it comes to ERP systems and, and the like as well? Uh, I mean, 100%, 100%. I mean, you're going to see, uh, you're going to see D- uh, DeFi get into all of these industries. You're going to see it get into all these industries and change how the industry operates, how you have smart contracts, how you do payments between service providers and, and, the, and the clients, how you even move product and supply chain around. I mean, ShopX is, is a play. It, it went up 137x for a reason because it's a play that deals around putting NFTs for every single product along the supply chain. Right. So now not only are each product has an NFT, an NFT attached to it, as it moves along the supply chain, DeFi takes care of all the payments and the value and the value that's being created. So this is just one of the many examples. Right. I mean, yeah. DeFi is going to get into all these spaces and it'll change how the space operates. Right. It's going to change how payments are done. It's going to change how value is transferred and it's going to have impact. All the companies that are doing this are the companies you want to get in with because these are the companies that are going to deliver thousands of percents of return over the year. And a lot of these companies are doing IDOs. So the great thing about blockchain 
to me is not even the is, is is the idea of decentralization, right? It's the idea of giving power back to the people. So all these, it's not like you can't. I mean, I used to invest a lot in private uh, private equity startups, right? And it's all like limited networks. If you know somebody, you can get in. If you don't know people, you can't get in. I need to right. be accredited, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. With with all these IDOs, everybody has the same opportunity. All you got to do is put in the work, do your research, do your research. That's the most important. Do your research, uh, check your facts, check your facts. And then find these opportunities, get into it. I mean, look at what's that, what ideas are popping up, see mm-hmm. which are the ones that are going to are building something that's going to have tremendous value. And money is a byproduct of creating values. So if these companies deliver value, they will grow 100%. So, Evan, you mentioned that in, in the beginning in your bio, uh, in your introduction, pardon me, uh, that you work with a lot of artists and startups getting into the NFT space. For those that are listening, if they want to start making their first NFT, they want to start adding experiences, tying something in it. What are some of the maybe one or two, three pieces of advice you would give those that are listening that want to begin creating their first NFT uh, and then evolving it uh, from there? I mean, the first thing I'll tell you is go and read everything about NFTs. You got to know and you got to understand what you're getting into. Go and read everything about NFTs as much as you can. Do your research, understand how they work. Now, to mint NFTs, you have a few options. You have a few different marketplaces that have their own, own benefits, right? So uh, depends um, which which marketplace will serve you the best. Are you minting an NFT that's audio? Is it is it a video? Is it a, is it a graphic? So there's different uh, different types of NFTs that you can also mint. And then you also got to have an audience. You got to have an audience prepped that is going to buy into your NFT. NFTs come, the most successful NFTs are drops. So they drop to the market and then they sell out right away because there's an audience waiting to buy that that exact NFT. So you got to focus on the drops. You got to make sure your marketing is right. And then you got to get your friends in to start to start uh, pushing the NFT out. There's a lot you need to go into. And then like, I would also tell you, like the first advice I always start to help people is buy into a few of the NFT token marketplaces so your risk is diversified. Doesn't matter if NFTs go up and down, they still need the exchange to operate and, and be transacted. Um, and that, that's what I'll tell you. But uh, you, you, you also need to know, you may need some sort of technical, there's, there's marketplaces that are, they are pretty straightforward today. It's as easy as using Facebook that you can mint an NFT. But if you wanna do something custom, you may need to work with a developer who can actually mint an NFT directly on the, the blockchain that you wanna mint it on. Because there's so many options with different blockchains too. So there's a lot that you need to read into and understand because there's a new space. And that's what I recommend people do your own research, understand what you're getting into. Do not invest your money into something that you do not understand. Absolutely. What has you most excited about the NFT space as you look ahead to the rest of the year? I mean, we got nine months left, just start of Q2 today. What has you most excited about the NFT space uh, from your view? I mean, I- I, I think NFTs are taking over, mate. Like that's what I see is mm-hmm. happening. Uh, I envisioned this three years ago, and I'm, I'm grateful today I'm, that I did that and I made those investments that I did. Uh, I'm very happy to see uh, these companies going off. I'm getting me myself. I foresee everybody, every artist creating NFTs, and eventually, I foresee every individual creating NFTs. You do know people are selling NFTs of their thoughts. People yeah. are literally farting and selling their thoughts as an NFT. And there's a selling for $80. Somebody saw $80 worth of value. So that's what I always tell. Art is in the eye of the beholder. So if you're able, I, I, I foresee everybody creating NFTs in the very close future and everybody selling their own NFTs. That's what I foresee. And I think I, 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 I'm, I'm hopeful the market move, moves towards that. And I, I see that happening because I see everybody moving and living in a more virtual and more digital world, right? I see that happening even more that people are connecting virtually, connecting digitally. And as the VR, I've been investing in VR for a very long time. I've been investing in AR for a very long, very long time. Uh, and that's what I have saw, seen in, I, was, I invested in Google Glass. I was the first 10 guys to use Google Glass when it came out in the world. So I've been, for, I've been waiting for this, world, this, this change to happen and move to a world where NFTs are far more prevalent and everybody understands there's even my grandfather owns some NFTs. Very, very exciting. Couldn't agree more. And Evan, uh, closing thoughts as to anything else you want the audience to know about you, your startup studio, and also just all the work that you do around NFTs. And then where can they find you online to continue the conversation, whether it be about NFTs, starting or investing, anything of the like. But any closing thoughts? Yeah, I mean, before, I'm, I'm pretty approachable, guys. You can always go on evanlutra.com, drop me a message, or even evan at evanlutra.com is my email. You can follow me on Instagram, uh, Insta- uh, Evan Lutra, or you can follow me on BitCloud, which is a new crypto social network. Uh, I'm also Evan Luther there. You can buy my own coin apparently now. Uh, um, and yeah, and if you guys want to see that, feel free to email me. Happy to have a look. Uh, and we can go from there. 
Right on. Wonderful. Uh, speaking of bit cloud, uh, just a real quick question. You said apparently, and we we know that there was a, we talked about this earlier on VCTV about its release and, and the fact that it, it added a bunch of people that people may or may not notice. So are you actually on it? Are you using it? What's your, been your experience thus far? Uh, I, I was one of the early investors in bit cloud and I've been on it for a very long time. Uh, and I, I love it. I mean, I think it's the future of social networks. There's no official exit ramp yet. You can still exit by selling OTC. That's how we remember how Bitcoin started, right? So Bitcoin sounds like Bitcoin in 2011. Uh, and I mean, it's, it, I, I think, it, I think it's, it's a great, great, great opportunity to get into. I think it's the future of social networks. Like that's, that's the way I see it, yeah. Thank, well, thank you very much, Evan, appreciate it. And uh, thank you again for taking the time today to talk to us about NFTs, DeFi, and just in general, where this industry is going of decentralization and the digital economy that we all live in, as you mentioned as well. Uh, to our audience, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you heard, make sure you click subscribe, share the episode, check out the archive on thetoken.com and make sure you connect with Evan this way. Uh, make sure you connect with Evan online on his respected social media and check him out on his website as well to connect anything about NFTs, decentralized finance, building your next company and or investment as well as he's available 24-7, 365 as am I and all of us online and would love to hear from you. Please add context when you do reach out. Make sure you let us know where you met us, where you heard us and what you would like to continue a conversation about. With that, we're going to take a short break. We're going to let Evan get back to his day around the NFT space. And we're going to be back here in just a few minutes with more VCTV. Everyone have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon. And a big thank you to the Token team and to Maria for making today's episode possible. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Yeah, Evan. Bye.